Welcome back. The Lagos State Government is blaming the developers of the three-story building which collapsed in Ilassa on Thursday for the tragic incident. Three people were killed and 19 injured in the accident which occurred. Now, the Commissioner of Physical Planning and Urban Development, Wasiu Anufuoshi, made these comments after an assessment of the site of the collapse, adding that the developers criminally unsealed a stop work order on the property. From there now, let's take a look at some sports. Here's Barong, Tony Oranta. Hello and welcome to Sports News. The 16 primary schools that will feature at the Channels International Kids Cup have been unveiled. The Awaziri School, Niger State, Buhanuddin School, Kwara State, Turaki Model School, Sokoto, Ibrahim Gusso Model School, Zamfara, Paragon Demonstration School, Edo State. Others are World Book Model School, River State, City Primary School, Abia State, Community School, Imo State, African Church School, Ogun State, and Islamic Government School, Ocean State. Also listed are LGA, Jafaro School, Kaduna, Islamia School, Kogi, Explanta Primary School of Lagos, and Community Primary School of Lagos. Abeka Basic School, Ghana, and St. Louis, Seme of Benin Republic, will also participate. The tournament is scheduled to hold between Monday, May the 22nd, through to Saturday, May the 27th. New Côte d'Ivoire coach Mark Vilmots has named his first squad since getting the job in March. The Elephants face the Netherlands in a friendly on June the 4th and Guinea in a 2019 African Cup of Nations qualifier five days later. The former Belgium coach included Solomon Kalou and Seydou Dumbia in the 27-man list. Three of the four former French youth internationals that Vilmots has persuaded to swap national allegiances and play for Côte d'Ivoire are also in the squad. Jean-Philippe Bamien and Jeremy Boga and Maxwell Cornett could all make their debuts for the 2015 AFCON winners in June. Tennis and seven-time champion Rafael Nadal has crashed out of the Italian Open after a straight-set defeat by Dominic Thiem in the quarterfinals in Rome. The 30-year-old Spaniard was previously unbeaten on clay this year, having won 17 straight matches. That run included victories over Thiem in the Barcelona Open and the Madrid Open finals. Yet, Thiem dominated this encounter, frequently forcing Nadal behind the baseline to set up a 6-4, 6-3 win. Meanwhile, Alexander Zverev has beaten Milos Ranić of Canada 7-6-6-1 to reach the semi-finals of the Italian Open in Rome. The 20-year-old German twice broke the Canadian serve in the opening set, only for Ranić to break straight back, sending the set into a tie-break which Zverev took 7-4 with his first set point. Zverev dominated the second set, breaking the Ranić serve twice to take the last five games and win the match in 91 minutes, setting up a semi-final against American John Eisner. And the unseated American John Asner has qualified for the semifinals of the Italian Open in Rome. The American battled past six seed Marin Cilic, 7-6-2-6-7-6. In a tight opening set with no breaks of serve, Eisner took four points off his opponent's serve in the tie break to win it 7-3. Cilic hit back in the second set before Eisner completed victory in two hours and 39 minutes. And finally, double Olympic pole vault champion Lina Simbaeva will be forced to stand down from a position as chairperson of the Russian anti-doping agency Rusada on the 31st of May. This is part of the criteria laid out by the World Anti-Doping Agency, the WADA, in order for Rusada to be allowed to resume testing. The WADA has urged Rusada to ensure there is an independent chairperson to install a conflict of interest policy as part of four immediate requirements previously established as part of their path of recompliance. The 34-year-old has repeatedly criticized the IAAF decision to suspend the country from international competitions in November 2015. And that's it on Sports News for tonight. I'm Byron Tony Ranta and Ijoma will be back with a wrap. Thanks, Barong. There's been another jailbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo two days after more than 3,000 inmates escaped from the country's main jail. This time, about 60 people broke out of the Kasungulu prison, some 40 kilometers from the capital, Kinshasa. The jail is located in the heartland of the Bundu Dia Congo religious sect. 
In the previous incident, the sect jailed leader was among those who escaped when armed men attacked the prison. The authorities are discussing the possibility of de deploying the military to guard jails. Meanwhile, Congolese authorities say they've recaptured 179 fugitives who broke out of the capital's main prison. Now, it's been a day of victory, though not a complete one for WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, as Sweden drops the rape investigation against him. The 45-year-old has been living in the Ecuadorian embassy in London since 2012 for fear of being extradited to Sweden, then the United States, where he's wanted for releasing government and diplomatic information online. To some entertainment news tonight, tributes continue to pour in following the shocking death of Nollywood actress Muji Olaya. Here's Maiwa Ogundele for more. Many thanks. Here are your top trending stories. Tributes continue to pour in for late Nollywood actress Muji Olaya, who passed away a few days ago in Canada. Notable figures in the filmmaking community, including Kate Ensha, Kunle Afolayo, Funke Akindele, have expressed shock at the sudden death of the 42-year-old daughter of music veteran Victor Olaya. Though the family of the deceased is yet to make an official statement, wide reports reveal she died from complications which followed the delivery of a baby two months ago. Former EME signee Skills is set to release a new album titled The Never Say Never Guy. The newly unveiled track list and album art confirm collaborations with a host of A-list artists including Bonoboy, Juan De Cole, Fino, American singer PJ Morton, and David O. Now, while two-thirds of defunct boy band plantation boys, Tubaba and Blackface continue in their age-long row, singer Faze, who continues to stay aloof in the matter, has released a new project titled Perfect Woman. The music video was created by Unlimited LA. You can only build your perfect woman, oh yeah. Sometimes she does what you don't like, yeah. But you can change her overnight. Mm -hmm. And if you paint her picture right, mm -hmm. you can change her overnight. She says, oh, me say, every woman needs love. Singer come actor Banky W has released a new music video titled Kololo. The video, which was shot in Dubai, was directed by Banky W himself. And that's it on entertainment. Thank you for watching. Let's head back for the rest of the news. Thanks a lot, Maiwa. And the main news again. The acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, today received the appropriation bill from the National Assembly eight days after passage of Budget 2017. The president's special advisor on National Assembly matters told State House correspondents that the acting president will assent to the budget when all the processes are complete. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Ijoma Konyato. Do have a great weekend. Good night.